Hello, this is Sarah. In today's science experiment, I'm going to show you how to make plastic in a very easy way. This experiment requires only two ingredients. However, we wanted to elaborate further and we added some extra ingredients so that we could recycle the plastic into these nice little flowers. You will need some nail polish remover or acetone, some polystyrene, an old transparent container and plastic gloves. For the flowers we use some differently colored nail polish, we use some skewers and some shape cutters that we didn't mind getting ruined because they were old anyways. You need adult supervision for this one and it's better to do this experiment outdoors. Start by pouring nail polish remover into the old container and then you want to color the nail polish remover basically and to do that you use nail polish. I use some red and some yeah, bright pink to obtain this color and the nail polish and nail polish remover melts straight away because they, they react one another, with one another. Then you use polystyrene. You immerse the polystyrene carefully into this liquid and you will see that it melts quite quickly. What you are observing here is the acetone from the nail polish remover is reacting with the polystyrene and polystyrene is like an expanded plastic and it it has a lot of air inside and it's absorbing the acetone and releasing the air that it has inside. So eventually you are left with the little plastic on the bottom of the container and you can use this plastic to make whatever you want. You need to shape it in the shape that you like. We decided to make flowers just because my daughter likes them. And then you have to let it dry and it's gonna harden and become very hard plastic. With very little nail polish remover, we melted a lot of polystyrene and what we were left is a very little piece of plastic and this is what we shaped into our flowers. After we had our flowers with the skewer, we made a little hole on the center of the flower so that we could fit the flower into the skewer later on. Then we let them dry for a couple of hours and as they were still soft, we uh, took them and placed them into the skewer. Uh, this is was because it was easy to work with them and then uh, we let them dry like this for one day and then they became hard. They turned out pretty nice although this is not an art project, this is a project to let uh, your child understand that there is a production process and there is a way to make plastic and it's just a nice fun experiment with plastic and acetone. This was all from me, I would love to hear from you, if you like this video, if you would do it at home or if you have any questions in general, please let me know. Thanks a lot for watching, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe for more weekly videos and I'll talk to you soon, bye bye.